Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Now I did mention this a Cardboard Coat Check, that is the silly name we give our unboxing videos, and the question we're answering tonight is what's in the box in regards to Scora. This is a brand new game just released in 2020 from ITB and Lunchbox Games. Score is a fast-paced game of fishing and feuding. Out muscle rival clans to land the biggest catch or tactically position your fishing boats to grab the most lucrative haul. As far as I can tell, this is an abstract, card-driven game. Looks really neat. Um, I do have to thank Lunchbox Games for sending us a review copy of this game. I am looking forward to checking it out. Note, I know nothing about this game. I haven't seen anything in it. And you're going to get to see with me what's in this box at the same time as me. So let's get to it. All right, here we have the box for Scora. Um, first things first, it took me a second to figure out how to actually open this. So it's got a magnet here, which is a nice touch. So we're going to crack open. So we have the rule book, which has a component list. Uh, i got to say, I do prefer component lists. They actually show me the components so I know what I have instead of just the listing. Shows the setting. Looks like the rules. No, they're not in black and white. They are color. Just really dark theme going on here. I'm not a huge fan of this light words on dark black text. I find that a little hard on my eyes. I would have preferred that. And it is a small font. Really thick cardboard here. Then we have the central board split into A, B, and C zones. Again, that nice same thick card. Then we have uh, some components, some various boats here. Now, my guess is that these are in colorblind friendly colors. Uh, they are pink, yellow, purple, and gray. And they do have a bit of silk screening on the flags, which is a nice touch. So these are each two sided, only one side has the silk screening. So there's the yellow with a, a vertical flag and nothing on the back. And then we have a gray with a crossed flag. We have a purple with a horizontal slashed flag. And then we have pink with a, a um, diagonal cross flag or an X. So there are multiples of these. There's a whole baggie full of them. Looks like five in each color. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six in each color. So we have a baggie full of these are wooden meeple. Boat meeple, beeple. Uh, there is one of those silica gel packs, which, uh, pro tip, if you live somewhere with high humidity, keep these in your game boxes. Then we have a pack of cards here. Uh, it's one of those resealable packs, which I generally like. I do like the, the kind of worn look to the cards. Uh, these all have the same back with a diamond on them, and then on the front, so this one says Fisher Folk, plus five. It says, um, fish are the largest catch in your type of scoring hand, plus five points. Crabber claw, Claws are the largest catch in your scoring hand, so these look like they're end game goal cards. Hunter, Sharks are the largest, get five points, and so on. There are a number of these, Breeder, Trawler. Voyagers, so these look like they're definitely end game scoring. I am not going to bother putting this back into the plastic for now. I can do that when we're not on camera. Then we have the rest of the Scora cards. Uh, these all have an axe on the back. You have one full deck. So that's nice. Each individual deck was actually separated in the box. Um, these show various things. So we have a bunch of blue beacon fish, all numbered one. We have leaping lobsters, numbered two. Uh, we have Rope Sharks, number three. All color-coded as well. All Rope Sharks actually are number three and four. Um, no, we don't. Sorry, they're changing. So let me double check. Let's go through it for me. So we have Beacon Fish, numbered one. All the same. Then we have Leaping Lobsters, number two. Then we have Rope Shark, number threes. Then Shaman Sharks. Number four, Berserker Crab, number five, Great Swordfish, number six. And that's it. That is all of the cards you get in Scorai. I'm going to say I really do dig the art aesthetic. Definitely went for a Viking look to this. Um, here we'll show off some of the, here's a Berserker Crab card. 
Uh, there are some special rules at the bottom. The symbols in the corner, as well as color-coded, um, very clear, easy to read. I dig it. I like the look. Um, that's part of why I agreed to review this. I like the overall look of the game. So here's an example of the Rope Shark. And as far as I know, that's it. There is a box insert here that just basically just takes up room. It's your standard cardboard trough. And there is nothing underneath it. So that's it. That's it for Scora. Not a lot in there. I did like how the cards were separated. Again, I'm not going to take the time to slide these back together. Um, not the best box insert, to be honest. Like, if you look at that, everything just kind of sits in here loose. Uh, the cards, I probably slide back into those sleeves. There's nowhere particular, like, to put these axes. Though I gotta admit, I do like the magnetic. Like, it snaps shut nice, but there's no actual reason the box needed to be this big except for cell space. I do love the aesthetic, though. That's a nice look. Impressive looking, very solid container. Um, this will look good on my shelf. Though I do, don't do like the fact that the name's only on this one side. So when I put this on my shelf, I'm probably going to want it sitting this way. And unless I recognize that art, which I will, um, I might forget what game this is. I may end up putting it this way or standing it up. So you have Scoria from Rory Muldoon. Lunchbox Games. Alright, so that's what you get in Scora. Abstract, card-driven game. Um, lots of Viking boats fighting over different fishing streams. Really nice looking components. Card quality was solid. The cardboard was nice and thick. I know nothing about the game itself, but it looks cool. It plays two to four players, 20, 20 minutes or so. Rule book was nice and thin. Dig the aesthetic. That is the best part about this game is the, the look of it. The Viking theme looks fantastic. The stylized artwork, uh, the card design is really striking, and I'm really impressed by the way this looks. Uh, there's a nice QR code on the back here, too, for learning how to play online. I'm looking forward to it. So that's it for our unboxing of Scora from Lunchbox Games. I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop. Enjoy your night and game on. Now you can also head over to, uh, before you go, you can head over to tabletopbellhop.com. That's our webpage where you can find all kinds of cool stuff like unboxing videos, reviews, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. If you've got a question for the bellhop, just send it to Mo at, or sorry, questions at tabletopbellhop.com. If you do dig this video, make sure you hit the subscribe, like button. You can also click the eye up here for cards to get you to other interesting content we've created. Thank you for your time. Good night and game on.